The servant of God, Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata, a light never extinguished. On 18th April 2020, the Rector Major of the Salesians, Father Angel Fernandez Artime, announced in the celebration of the Easter season and at the first Vespers of Divine Mercy Sunday that the Congregation for the Causes of Saints, in a letter sent on 15th April 2020, has sent the following communication. The Holy Father, after careful and thoughtful examination, gave his august consent to the requests of religious and lay people who requested the opening of the cause for the beatification of Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata, Salesian of Don Bosco, Bishop of Bova. What is the reason why the Pope himself authorized the opening of the cause of beatification of Monsignor Cognata, manifesting the conviction and commitment of a choice that reintegrates the values of truth and justice in their fullness? To answer this question, we must ask ourselves, who is Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata? Born in Agrigento on October 14, 1885, Giuseppe Cognata showed a great wealth of human gifts and talents as a child. At the age of 12, he entered the San Basilio Salesian College in Randazzo, Catania, ready to accept the call to religious and apostolic life among the Salesians, a vocation strongly opposed by his father and grandfather. On May 5, 1908, he made his perpetual profession in San Gregorio di Catania, in the hands of the then rector major Don Michael Rua, Don Bosco's first successor. And the following year, he received his priestly ordination in Acireale. He had brilliantly graduated in both literature and philosophy and was now going to the young people not only as a professor and assistant, but as a zealous priest. He was director of works, but even more so director of souls. Pius XI, in the consistory of March 16, 1933, appointed Don Giuseppe Cognata, at that time director of the Sacred Heart of Rome, Bishop of Bova, a particularly poor and disadvantaged diocese of Calabria. He received Episcopal ordination on the following 23rd of April in the Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Rome from Salesian Cardinal Augusto Lond, today Venerable. Through steep paths and mule tracks, Monsignor Cognata, who had chosen the Poland expression, Caritas Christi Urget Nos, has his Episcopal motto, wanted to visit and comfort not only all the villages of the diocese, but also the groups of poor families scattered here and there in the places more remote and more inaccessible. He gave birth to a pious society of generous young people, willing to work with courage and joy in the smallest, remote, abandoned centers. Thus was born on 18 December 1933, the Congregation of the Silesian Oblates of the Sacred Heart. In 1939, a hellish storm broke out against the founder and his institution. On December 20, 1939, the Holy Office, on the basis of false accusations, unjustly condemned Monsignor Cognata to the dismissal from Episcopal dignity, to expulsion from the diocese and from the institute he founded. He lived for many years in silence and solitude, welcomed in the Salesian houses of Trento and Rovereto until 1952, and then in that of Castello di Godego, Treviso, until 1972, carrying out an assiduous and appreciated ministry of confessor and spiritual guide. The cross is hope, the certainty of resurrection and of life. In Easter 1962, he was reinstated by Pope John XXIII in the Episcopates. He participated by the will of Pope Paul VI in the Second Vatican Council. And on January 29, 1972, he had the joy of knowing his institute 
recognized by the Holy See with a decree of praise. He died on July 22 of 1972 in Pelaro, Reggio Calabria, the initial seats of the missionary activity of the Salesian Oblates. Monsignor Cognata is one of the Lord's disciples who was persecuted for having lived his commitments with God and with others, entering into a battle with a world made up of ambitions for power and worldly interests. After receiving the sentence in which the Holy Office deprived him of episcopal functions, Monsignor Conata wrote to one of his most faithful collaborators, We are at the last act of Calvary. On the cross, Jesus consumed what he wanted to suffer, showing himself dead and defeated. But later, the triumph of the resurrection. The Master also associated me with his last act to hasten the triumph of his oblates, in which my resurrection will also be. So, my daughter, we are at the burial. It's time for the last test. We know how to sustain it in silence, abandoned to the heart of Jesus. Let us continue to work and triumph in the name of Jesus, suffering and overcoming everything, trusting in the Master. Do not worry about defending me. The Lord is there for this. Monsignor Cognata is a witness of hope a light that has never been extinguished, which today shines in the church with a single light, victim of slander and lies. He pushes us by example and intercession to ensure that, in, that it ceases in the church and in society the spread of that virus from which Pope Francis never ceases to warn, slander and falsehood. In particular, in the light of the Strena for 2021, our Vector Major underlined how Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata took the vaccine of forgiveness. For him, forgiveness was the norm of life, in living a life of suffering but a life full of the sense of God, of faith and of waiting for a justice that without doubt he thought that God would give. Monsignor Cognata sends us a great message. Find the courage to embrace all the difficulties of the present time, abandoning your worries for a moment to give space to the creativity that only the Spirit is capable of arousing. In the cross of Christ, we have been saved to welcome hope and let it strengthen and support all the possible ways that can help us to guard and keep us. With Mary, Immaculate, and Help of Christians, we sing the Magnificat for the event of grace for the full rehabilitation of Monsignor Conata, wanted by Pope Francis and expected and hoped for by many. A gift that a Salesian Oblates of the Sacred Heart pushes us to make our witness of consecration and service of charity fresher and more renewed in the footsteps of our beloved Father and Founder, the servant of God, Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata. The Spes Salvi Choir, with the participation of the Congregation of the Salesian Oblates of Sacred Hearts, directed by Giacomo De Angelo, and accompanied on the organ by Marco Columbro, moved by gratitude and joy for the recent opening of the beatification process of the humble bishop, intends to raise his praise and thanks to the Lord with a per performance of the piece, Your Life, a Love Song, dedicated to Monsignor Giuseppe Cognata, composed by Giuseppe Verardo, based on a text by Sister Michalina Portuguese.
e voi sarete quello che il Signore vi vuole. Se farete sempre quello che il Signore vuole, non dovete temere di niente, proprio di niente. Non dubitate mai, possiate venire meno di avere un premio, perché il premio l'avrete.